Hi guys! Welcome sa Engineered Math Channel. Sa video na ito, ituturo ko sa inyo ang limits of trigonometric functions. So kung gusto nyo itong matutunan, just keep on watching. Okay, so this time, ay ituturo ko naman sa inyo ang limits of trigonometric functions. So, Meron na tayong iba't ibang videos about limits of algebraic function. So, this time ay ituturo ko naman sa inyo kung paano hanapin yung limits ng trigonometric function. So, ganun pa rin naman yung concept dito ng limits. Hanapin pa rin natin yung i-approach na value ng given trigonometric function as x approaches sa particular value. So, meron lang tayong iba't ibang formula na gagamitin dito. So, para sa first set sa formula natin, sabi, if A is any number in the domain of the corresponding trigonometric function, then, sa so meron tayong anim, limit of sin x as x approaches A is equal to sin A, limit of cos x as x approaches A is equal to cos A, limit of tan x as x approaches A is equal to tan A, then, limit of cosecant x as x approaches a is equal to cosecant a. Limit of second x as x approaches a is equal to second a. And, limit of cotangent x as x approaches a is equal to cotangent a. So, pwede natin i-substitute yung actual value ng a dito sa given trigonometric function niya, sa independent variable niya, kung yung a daw is any number in the domain of the corresponding trigo function. Okay, so take note of that. So, mamaya illustrate natin kung paano ito gagamitin. Okay? So, next, meron tayong three sets of formula na gamitin sa limits of trigonometric function. So, ito ay yung limit ng sin x over x as x approaches 0 is equal to 1. Limit of 1 minus cos x over x as x approaches 0 is equal to 0. And limit of tan x over x as x approaches 0 is equal to 1. So, ito kasi... Kapag ginamit natin yung formula kanina, ito, yung sasubstitute natin yung value ng x na 0 dito sa bawat trigo function, is magiging undefined siya, right? So, magiging indeterminate form. Pero dahil meron itong derivations, which hindi ko na pinakita, so, formula na lang mismo yung pinakita ko, pero nating ma-prove na itong sin x over x as x are put 0, although indeterminate siya kapag sinubstitute ko dito sa x nila, magiging 1 pa rin yung value niya. So, pwedeng gamitin dito yung L'Hopital's Rule or yung tinatawag natin na Squeeze Theorem. Okay? So, dito sa video na to, directly, i-apply na lang natin to dito. Okay? Sa mga problems na isasolve natin. Okay? So, tandaan na natin itong tatlong formula na to. Mahalaga to dito sa video natin about finding the limits of trigo functions. Okay? So, para may illustrate natin yung different formulas for finding the limits of trigonometric functions and mag-solve tayo ng examples. So, find the limits of the following. For the first one, we have limit of sine of x squared minus 1 over x minus 1 as x approaches 0. So, pwede natin gamitin dito yung formula natin kanina na limit of sin x as x approaches a is equal to sin a. Parang pwede natin i-substitute itong a dito sa x nung sin. Kasi, itong sin naman is continuous everywhere. Or yung domain niya kasi is set of all real numbers, right? So, whatever value yung i-plug in natin dito sa x niya, pwede niyang tanggapin. Assuming na itong expression natin inside is hindi magiging undefined, right? Like a constant divide 0, indeterminate form, and so on. So, check natin kung pwede ba. So, sige, plug in natin itong x na 0 dito sa expression inside the sign, yung x squared minus 1 over x minus 1. So, sign of 0 squared minus 1 over 0 minus 1, or equal siya sa sign of, so, 0 squared is simply 0 minus 1, negative 1, over 0 minus 1 is negative 1. Okay, so therefore, sine of negative 1 over negative 1 or simply positive 1. So therefore, hindi naman nagpa-undefined itong 0 dito sa expression inside the sign, which is 1 siya, right? So therefore, acceptable siya. So pwede natin masabi na yung limit nitong expression natin is simply ito, yung sine 1. Okay? Next, we have limit of 1 minus cos x over sine x as x approaches 0. So, pwede natin itry kung pag sinapsitute ba natin itong 0 is magiging defined ba yung limit. Kasi continuous naman din itong cosine at sine dito sa 0. So, 1 minus cosine 0 over sine 0. So, 1 minus 
cosine 0 is 1, right? Over sine 0 is 0. So, 1 minus 1 is 0 over 0. Which is kinilabasan is indeterminate form, right? So, therefore, hindi natin pwedeng directly i-substitute itong x na 0 dito sa given expression. Pero, pwede natin i-apply yung tatlong formula kanina. Ito. Particularly itong dalawa. Yung sine x over x as x sa 0 is 1. Then, 1 minus cos x over x as x sa 0 is 0. Paano? Kasi pwede natin i-manipulate ito. Pwede tayong mag... Uh, divide both, both numerator and denominator by a same value. Let's say, 1 minus cos x, divide natin ng x para ma-apply natin ito. Yung limit na to. Then, same din sa sin x over x din para balance. At ma-apply din natin yung limit theorem sa kanya. So, sin x over x. So, parang nag-multiply lang tayo ng 1 kasi, parang nag-multiply tayo ng 1 over x all over 1 over x. Right? Equal lang to sa 1. Then, pwede natin ngayon i-apply yung limit. So, pwede naman natin iangat yung limit sa magiging limit of 1 minus cos x over x as x sa 0 over limit of sin x over x as x sa 0. So, kanina ano yung limit ng 1 minus cos x over x as x sa 0? 0, right? So, 0 yung numerator over limit nung sin x over x sa x sa 0. Kanina is 1. So, therefore, hindi na siya undefined. 0 divided by 1 is simply 0. So, therefore, the limit is 0. Okay? Next, we have limit of sin 3x over sin 5x as x sa 0. So, pag sinapsitid natin itong x na 0 dito sa sin 3x saka sa sin 5x, ano siya? Sin 3 times 0 over sin 5 times 0 or simply sin 0 over sin 0. A sin 0 over sin 0 is 0 over 0. Indeterminate. So, hindi natin pwedeng gawin yung direct substitution. So, pwede natin i-apply dito yung kanina, yung limit of sin x over x as x approaches 0, which is equal siya sa 1, right? Kaso, Kailangan, nakapattern din dito. Kung yung x mo is 1 numerical coefficient, dapat 1 lang din numerical coefficient niya dito sa denominator. So, since yung given natin is 3x, dapat in pair siya sa sin 3x over, dapat meron din siyang 3x sa denominator. Okay, para ma-apply natin to. Para maging limit niya rin, as x sa 0 is 1. Then, same dito sa baba. Limit of sin 5x, dapat meron din siyang over 5x as x sa 0 para yung limit niya rin is 1. So, paano natin ngayon i-manipulate ito? Na mapalabas natin na magkaroon tayo ng ganitong form. So, pwede, di ba sin 3x, tapos sa denominator is sin 5x. Tulad sa ginawa ko dun sa number 2, pwede tayo mag-multiply both numerator and denominator ng 1 over x muna. So, magiging ano siya pag multiply sin 3x over x over sin 5x over x. Pero sabi ko nga, kulang pa tayo ng constant. Dito sa sin 3x, kailangan pa natin ng 3. Sa 5x, kailangan pa natin ng 5. So, ang next step na pwede is, per part tayo mag-multiply at divide ng constant. So, pwede tayong mag-multiply sa numerator ng 3, then sa denominator din ng 3. So, equivalently, 1 lang yan, right? 3 over 3. Then, same dito sa denominator, this time, 5 over 5 naman yung imumultiply natin. Para, pag pinagsama natin, pwede na siyang 3 times sin 3x over 3x. Pagsasamayin ko to. Para kagrupo niya na yung sin 3x over 3x. Dito rin sa baba, 5 sin 5x over 5x. Okay? So, ngayon, gamitin natin yung form na to. Limit of 3 sin 3x over 3x over 5 sin 5x over 5x as x sa 0. Okay? Saburayin ko lang to. So, bale, parang pwede natin i-distribute ulit itong limit. etong 3 constant, nakagidid lang siya. So, 3 limit of sin 3x over 3x as x sa 0 over, dito rin sa denominator, yung 5 constant. So, 5 times limit of sin 5x over 5x as x sa 0. 
So, divide to sabi ko, 1 na at ito, 1 na rin. So, parang we have 3 times 1 over 5 times 1. Or simply, 3 over 5. So, therefore, the limit is simply 3 over 5. Okay? Next, we have limit of 2 tan squared x over x squared as x approaches 0. So, this time, meron tayong form na tan x naman yung ating trigo function. So, obviously, pwede natin ma-apply yung limit natin kanina na to. Limit ng tan x over x as x approaches 0 is 1. So, kailangan natin mapalabas ito. So, paano? So, given tayo na 2 tan squared x over x squared. So, pwede natin yung paghiwalayan as, so, pwedeng limit of 2. So, kapag tan squared x, dalawang tan yun na nakamultiply, right? So, 2 tan x times tan x over itong x squared, parang x times x din siya, right? So, x times x. Then, as x approaches 0. So, pwede natin paghiwalayin. So, limit of 2 tan x over x times tan x over x as x approaches 0. So, pwede naman natin i-distribute itong limit. So, itong 2 constant na kagilid. Then, limit of tan x over x as x approaches 0 times limit of tan x over x as x approaches 0. So, diba ito is 1 na. So, parang 2 times 1 times 1 na lang yung limit or simply 2. Right? So, therefore, the limit of this expression is simply 2. Okay? Okay, so I think that's it for this video. Limits of trigonometric function. So, madali lang naman siya. Apply nyo lang yung 3 fundamental formula for finding the limits of uh, trigo functions. And then, kung pwede nyo namang isatitute directly yung value ng x doon sa mismong trigo expression, then pwede nyo rin gawin yun. Pero dapat hindi magiging undefined or indeterminate yung expression. Okay? So, sana ay may natutunan kayo sa video na to at maraming salamat sa panonood.